Hey everyone! We've been using an AI image generator to create brand new Pokemon. This time we've input the 8 water type starters and left the program to run, so let's see what it's generated. This was our first attempt at generating water starters. And I was really excited to see how it would come out, specifically because I noticed that all 8 of the water starters have a similar shape and size to their heads. So I wondered what kind of effect that would have on the generated images. And as we can see, it means that they're all adorable. They all share kind of a similar head placement, and they're cute! I love them all! Alright, let's take a closer look. We're starting off with immediately one that looks exactly like a Pokemon already. And I'm in love with everything about this guy. His little head, his perfect eyes, his downturned mouth. He's got like a little gem underneath his face. I don't have no idea where those little like legs came from or like a necktie. And then he's got like fins or rolled up legs behind him. That'd be cool. He could be like an octopus that looks like a little dude, but has like big legs tucked behind him. This thing could be an amazing Pokemon. I, I really like this one. This guy's got a lot going on with him too. He's got almost the like Poplio or Froakie like neck frills thing. He's got big fins. His face might be like turned sideways and that orange thing instead of like a cheek could be like a nose. That's like a big grin. He's pretty adorable. I'm gonna call a lot of these adorable. I'm sorry, I don't have a better word for it. I find a lot of these things absolutely cute. <laughs> this thing <laughs> looks like a long squirtle. <laughs> I, he looks like a Charmander squirtle almost. It's adorable. <laughs> adorable. His eyes are perfect. He's got like little eyebrows, kind of like squirtle too. Big open mouth. Is that thing a nose? <laughs> he looks like he's got like a human nose. I love this guy too. I really like this guy's color scheme. I like the white Oshawott head, but then like the brown legs and the little bit of blue. He definitely looks more like an ice Pokemon or something like that. He's got almost a snowman head. Those things could definitely be eyes, or maybe this is like his little face here. If you played around with it a bit, you can make a really cool Pokemon out of this guy. This stance is amazing. I think these two are feet, and that's a tail. These things are arms, this is like his chest. He's got like a red scarf on, that could be his tongue. And then he kind of has like a Zoro hat with a single eye poking out and big smile. And I really like his like sunset colors on his chest. That's neat. I'm trying to refrain from saying this is adorable, but it is. It's adorable. <laughs> Look at his face. I love him so much. I like the big fin on top of his head, his like little O mouth. The eyes are absolutely adorable and he kind of has a fish body. He's perfect. It's definitely got almost a superhero look going on. That you, I can't tell if that's like a little body within like a, a glide or fin suit, or if that's like his mouth. Those could be eyes, or those could be eyes, those could be hands. He's got two feet. This guy's cool too. And we got our first water type with two faces. <laughs> I think that this thing could be like a little cloud back there that rides around on the back of almost a fish. It almost looks like a coelacanth or something. It'd be cool if it had multiple evolution branches, like one way you evolve the cloud one, one way you evolve the coelacanth, and the other takes kind of like a back seat to it. That'd be awesome. And another long squirtle. <laughs> I feel like half of these might end up being just tall squirtles, but they're still really cute. This thing looks like it's got like a little face. I like his little dot nose, big eyes. Oh man. He almost looks like he's walking a little bit, or these things could be legs. I like him too. More than anything, this thing's background is amazing. I like the the Pokemon shape in it too. That thing could be like a really cool water Pokemon, but like the background is amazing on this one. It's definitely got a little face, some fins, those could be like little tentacles or like little swimmers. I, I love him. This guy's blank face, I love it. He's very plain, but you can definitely see pieces of other Pokemon in it. It looks like he's kind of got like Maybe Oshawott, Flippers, his body shape and stuff like that. I'm not sure where that comes from. He's definitely got a, almost a little neck color. Maybe like a little curly cue on the top of his head. He's still cute, even though he's so nondescript. I think this might be the first one that I've seen that could almost have three heads. It looks like it has three different shapes that have eyes on it. I'm wondering where these, like big white almost cloud shapes are coming from. It could just be like it taking Froakie's back and Oshawott's head and kind of like merging them, but he looks cool too. You could see something really cool if you played around with this one a bit. 
This guy looks like almost a little dinosaur or something. These could be feet, he's got like a big bulbous lower body, two little tiny arms, maybe his head is turned sideways. I don't know. This guy's got really cool shapes to him though. I really think that, like, like if you pieced this together and kind of gave it like a new face and stuff like that, you could make an amazing Pokemon out of these shapes. This guy's almost got the same face thing going on as the last one, but I like his big, big feet and his big rolly tail. This, this thing I thought for a while was its face, but then I was like, maybe his head's just turned sideways and that's like a patterning or something. I definitely like his almost like toenails and the big rolly tail could be amazing. I like this guy a lot. Now I have no idea <laughs> what what this thing looks like, but I think it could be turned into an amazing Pokemon. Those are definitely eyes, this is like a patterning, and this is its face. But then you got almost like, like it's wearing a coat, and then it's got two feet sticking out. I think that that thing could be really cool if you like took a little bit of artistic liberty with it. I, I love all of these so far, <laughs> this one's cool too. We got another super nondescript one, but you can still see almost a Pokemon shape in there. You got its head, you got its body, I that might be a tail, I'm not sure. It kind of looks like a big sobble fin, kind of just jammed back in there. And then feet. It's still neat looking, even though it's super nondescript. Oh my god, I love this guy's like, raw face. <laughs> he looks like... It almost looks like a sea anemones type thing. This could be like a shell with like a little angry pearl in it or something. <laughs> its face is so clear that it's like almost totodiles, but it's got like a big straight row of teeth. I love this guy. <laughs> he's, he's amazing. This one could also make an amazing Pokemon already. You can definitely see its little arms. It's got almost like a, a crocodile or alligator face again. It has totodiles eyes, but they're green and two fins. This thing could be awesome. I like almost how it's got like a, a shell back here. This thing's really cool. I think that this one could be a Pokemon already. We've seen long Squirtles, now we got a long Sobble. <laughs> it's almost got a bird body too. I, I love this guy. His big eyes, all of the big eyes make these things so cute. I like how it's got like a tail, I love these things so much. <laughs> this, this one's also amazing. I say that about them all, but I find them all amazing. There is a lot going on in this one. <laughs> I think this is a face. More than this being a face, that could be like tentacles that come out of its mouth. And then you got kind of like the tentacle blobs everywhere else. It's kind of a mix between like a cuttlefish or an octopus and a starfish. I like it. This one's definitely got a plant vibe going on to me. Like, I think those could be little roots, and then it's got, like, a little shell that it's holding around it. That thing could be cool, like a sea slug or something. Or, like, a Luleep or a Crawdilly. I really like the deep sea style Pokemon, and this thing definitely fits the bill of one of those. I love it. This one could be cool. I absolutely love this one. I say this about every one of them, but this one... <laughs> It looks like a snowman! <laughs> He's so cute! He's got the big carrot nose, the big snowball head, his mouth is amazing, his eyes are super cute, his body kind of got a weird thing going on with it, but I, I still think that like just a flat out snowman Pokemon could be awesome. I like the big frills behind him, I like everything this guy's delivering. <laughs> this thing is amazing. I think this is the first one that has like Frog legs. It has very clear frog legs. That could almost be a fish that it's holding, <laughs> but that might be arms too. It's got a nice scarf. It has like really pretty eyes because it's kind of got like a little eyelash there. <laughs> I, <laughs> I love them all. I call them all adorable. I'm sorry. This thing is also adorable and I, I love what it's got. <laughs> and this one is a, kind of like a sad Squirtle. <laughs> like, it took Squirtle's mouth, but made it sad. It's got a little bow tie <laughs> and arms. I, got, I can't get through this with a straight face anymore. I'm still just giggling over the snowman and stuff. <laughs> I, I love all of these. This one's also amazing. And now we got one that's like screaming. <laughs> Oh man, one second, I'll be back. Okay, I composed myself. This thing looks like a screaming baby. <laughs> it's, it, it looks like these are its arms, these are its legs. It's got big fins. This thing's like a head flipper. 
This thing had an amazing face. There's quite a few that have had absolutely hilarious little screaming faces. I liked the first Squirtle too. I, I love these guys. I'm sorry that I say I love them all and that they're all adorable, but I really, I really do have a good time looking at these. So now it's time to choose one and make it into a model. We chose this little squid guy. Right off the bat, it was a super strong contender. We just kept talking about it and loved him more and more. If he was like a Pokemon that evolved to have like a little bit more of a human shaped body in front of him, but was like a deceptively hidden octopus, that would be really cool. This time we had more than a few that we wanted to model, so we may always go back and make more. We've also been playing around with the idea of maybe modeling some of the evolutions of them, either by generating the evolutions through AI using the future evolutions of the starters, or just by going back and making something. If that sounds like something that would interest you, let us know. Please like the video, subscribe if you're not, and as always feel free to leave us any suggestions or comments that you have. We absolutely love your feedback. We also have a Patreon. Thank you again, stay safe, I love you all, goodbye!